Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to manage Solana using the Soulflare wallet. The Soulflare wallet is a powerful third party wallet that will allow you to manage Solana tokens. You can store tokens, you can swap tokens, and you can also stake your Solana for passive income. So I'm going to show you how to get that Soulflare wallet set up, and I'm going to show you how to use it in conjunction with a hardware device so you can keep your private key offline safe and secure. This is hands down the most secure way to manage a wallet is by using a hardware device. Today, I'm going to be using my Ledger Nano X. So let's get started. I'm going to use the Brave extension here. Uh, probably be the same for Chrome if you're using Chrome. We'll just add that. And uh, we can also pin this so that you have easy access to it up in your browser. Now we're going to create a wallet on our device first. So we're going to run over to Ledger Live. Right? Make sure you have your device connected and unlocked. You should be at your home screen on your device. Make sure it's connected. We're going to go down to My Ledger and uh, we want to install the Solana app. Uh, it's here in the list because they're sorted by market cap by default, or you can search for it. All right, just click install, and it's going to install on your device. This is how we have the Solana functionality on our hardware device. What this is doing, this process is creating a Solana wallet a uh, private key on your device. And then the public facing part of the wallet can be exported out so that you can manage it. Once we've done this, we're done with Ledger Live. We don't need Ledger Live anymore. You can use Ledger Live to store Solana and I believe you can even use it to stake, uh, but you can't really manage Solana tokens or swap tokens in the Solana interface. So um, it's okay, but uh, there's a much better Solana-based wallet out there that you can use in conjunction with your ledger. It's called Soulflare. I'm gonna show you how to use that. So in today's case, we're going to use our ledger device. So we'll click down here. Make sure that you're in the Solana app, right? You just wanna navigate over until you're on top of the app and click both buttons and it'll say application is ready and you'll see that Solana icon there, right? Uh, now we can click Ledger. It tells us to unlock it. Oh, I've done that. We'll go ahead and set a password. All right, it's gonna connect to the wallet and uh, detect the public addresses, right? Uh, it's exporting the public information. Uh, I'll go ahead and choose the first one here. Uh, you could add all three of those, but I'm just gonna stick with the uh, first one. We'll just choose continue here. And uh, they give you a little keyboard shortcut for opening the extension. All good. You don't need to write down a seed phrase when you do it this way. The seed phrase for your device is what you'll use if something happens to this wallet. Uh, if something happens on the computer or the browser, then all you have to do is reconnect the device. If something happens to the device, then you'll restore using your ledger seed phrase. So you're not going to need a seed phrase for the Soulflare wallet because we're using our hardware device. We'll click continue here. It tells us the wallet is ready. Uh, we can pin the extension, which we've already done. We'll just choose enter Solana. And here we go. We've got a blank uh, or an empty Solana wallet. So the first thing we'll do is fund this wallet. Now I'm going to turn off the camera. I don't need the device to authorize incoming transactions, right? Why would you want a wallet that refuses to let crypto in, right? So uh, the wallet is uh, up and running and we've got the address. We can click receive. Uh, we'll just copy that address into our clipboard. And then I'm gonna go over to my Coinbase account. I've got some Solana in my Coinbase account already. Uh, if you don't have any Solana, you can purchase it. Now, if you wanna use regular Coinbase to make a Solana purchase, uh, you'll hit buy and then uh, you'll choose Solana and uh, you can make a purchase here. The only problem is when you use regular Coinbase, you're gonna get a merchant charge. It's much faster and easier to use the advanced Coinbase option. But in this case, you'll need to actually make a deposit from your bank 
uh, through ACH or a wire transfer uh, and fund the account with some US dollars so that you can trade for Solana. And you can see here, uh, we've got the US dollar Solana pair. We can go over here and uh, do one of those fancy trades to get Solana in our account. In my case, I already have some Solana in my account. So uh, we can use the uh, advanced interface to make a withdrawal. Uh, but the same thing would apply over in regular Coinbase if you already had Solana in your account. You can see it shows up here, right? And then I can do send and receive and access my Solana. All right, now we're going to send to the wallet. As I showed you, I've copied the address into my clipboard. This is our first time. So we're going to do a small test transaction. Always do small test transactions when you're making large transfers. Don't just transfer thousands of dollars worth of crypto if you've never done it before. Always do small test transactions. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'll click the to field and paste in the address of my Soulflare wallet, right? And then we'll go ahead and uh, click preview. And the network fee for Solana is very low for withdrawals, much better than Bitcoin and Ethereum probably why Solana is so popular right now. Uh, we'll choose send now, and I'm gonna need my two factor. All right, and that uh, off it goes. We'll go back over to the wallet, and uh, we'll just keep an eye on the wallet. And uh, the Solana came in pretty quick, All right? So uh, there's our $20 worth of Solana minus that fee. Well, let's go ahead and send the rest of it now. We've confirmed everything is working correctly. We've got the correct address. We'll copy it back into our clipboard. Go back over to Coinbase. We'll go ahead and do another send. Uh, we'll choose Solana. And uh, we'll go ahead and max it out this time. And once again, we'll paste in the address of our Soulflare wallet. We'll click Preview. And then Send Now. All right, and it's on its way. We can go back over to the wallet, keep an eye on what's going on. Maybe do a quick refresh here. And the Solana is in the wallet. Pretty easy. Uh, now we've funded the wallet uh, and we've got it protected with our ledger device. Now what's cool about the Soulflare wallet is that we can do swaps on the Solana chain here. So uh, we can swap into stablecoin if we want to park our gains, uh, we can uh, swap for uh, U.S. dollar coin or Tether. Remember, these this is Solana-based U.S. dollar coin and Tether, but nevertheless, it still is tied to the price of the U.S. dollar. So uh, you've got some wrapped Ethereum and wrapped Bitcoin options, and then you have a whole bunch of available Solana tokens that you can trade for. Please do your research. Uh, there are a lot of uh, fake coins and uh, a lot of coin copies on here. You want to make sure that you're getting uh, the coin that you're interested in. So, for example, if we wanted to uh, swap for a little bit of bonk, uh, we could do uh, maybe 0.5 of one of our tokens and then choose swap. Now, watch what happens here on my device when I try to do a swap. I'm gonna to need to authorize on my device, so we'll hit swap here. Ah, now uh, when we do this, we need to make sure that we have blind signing enabled on our device. So uh, we'll just uh, navigate over to settings, click both buttons, and then we want to allow blind sign by clicking both buttons, and then we'll choose yes. All right, and then we can back out of that back to where the application is ready, and now we can do our swap. Uh, a little bit riskier when you enable blind signing, but that's really the only way to do swaps on your hardware device. You can always turn it back off again when uh, you're done doing swaps, uh, but it's still safer than using a hot wallet for your swaps. Uh, you decide how you wanna do it. I'll choose swap again, and I need to confirm on my device. We'll go over here. We'll click both buttons. And now we've made our swap and it's complete. So it's very easy uh, to do this. Now, if we want to, now that we're done swapping, we can go back into the settings or disable blind signing if we want to, All right? If you uh, feel better, makes you feel better. 
Now let's see how staking works. Uh, we'll go over to the staking tab. We'll click stake now. And there's different validators to choose from. Oh, it's just one validator, Soulflare. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and I'll just stake a little bit as a test. Right, I'll stake one Solana. Uh, there's our annual return. So uh, you're looking at 7% APY, but this is a yearly figure. So in order to actually get the 7% return, you would need to be staking for the entire year, right? Um, you decide how long you want to stake. You can unstake when you're ready. But I'm just going to stake this as a test. And we need to confirm on the device. Notice I don't need blind signing enabled to stake, right? So uh, there's all the information. We can scroll through it till we get to approve. We'll click both buttons. And it's done. And so now we're staking Solana. You can stake as little or as much as you like. So uh, we can even uh, manage uh, Solana-based NFTs in this wallet. It's pretty cool. You go to the uh, portfolio section. It'll give you an overview of your tokens. We can go over to staking and uh, we'll give this a couple of minutes and it'll give us uh, our active status right now. We're still activating at the moment. Uh, while we're waiting on that, let me go ahead and show you how uh, it works with the mobile device. Now, there are a lot of different flavors of this wallet. You can get the mobile app. So uh, if we do the mobile app, we can basically just scan it with our phone. All right, so if we want to get the app, we can just scan that with our camera. Take us over to the uh, App Store, and you can just download. I already have it on my phone. Now, what's cool about this wallet is that you can connect your device to this wallet. So I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch today. I'll be using a different device, so you can even manage multiple devices on the mobile app. So it's pretty cool and we can do all of the swaps and stuff as well. Now I want to manage my other device, right? I told you that the device that we just used was brand new. Um, it didn't have any Solana on it, so I showed you how to get it set up from scratch. So as you can see, I'm already managing one Ledger device, but if we go up to the top left and look at our wallets, we can hit Edit, and then uh, once we hit Edit, we'll choose Add Wallet, and we're going to connect a ledger. So we'll hit connect ledger. Uh, we've got the device connected and on. All right, and this device has never been paired with my uh, ledger live on my phone. So I'll go ahead and get that done first. So we'll open up ledger live. And I wanna go down to my ledger and then I wanna pair with Bluetooth. And it looks for other devices. You can see now that it sees this device. All right, and then uh, you can see here on my device, it gives me that pairing code. So I'll click both buttons to confirm that, and then I'll confirm on my device. All right, it's gonna do the genuine check. Everything's good. All right, so now I'm managing this device in my Ledger Live. As you can see, I've got more than one, I can manage more than one Ledger device in the Ledger Live app. Now that we've paired that up, we can go back over to Soulflare. All right, now that we've paired our device, let's do this again. In this case, we need to be in the Solana app. So I'm gonna click both buttons to get into the Solana app. I'll say I paired my device. There it is. It's gonna scan my device for any existing Solana wallets. As you saw, we already funded it over on the desktop. So this device already has the private key of that Solana wallet. And uh, when we interface here, we can export out the public information. We'll go ahead and import all. And there we go. You can see our Solana. You can see that bonk token that we bought. And then over in staking, uh, we can see that I'm staking one Sol too, right? Uh, I guess the activatings might take a little while. So we'll give it time for that. Notice too that over on the phone, uh, we can go into swap as well. Uh, down there on the bottom, those two arrows. If we wanted to swap Solana using the phone, we could do that as well. And we would just have to confirm on the device through Bluetooth 
just like we did in the desktop, all right? So on both the phone app and the desktop app, uh, the device is managing the wallet. The private keys for the wallet are being stored on the device offline, safe and secure. And any transactions like a stake or a swap or a transfer are going to need to be confirmed on your device. I showed you how to get the Soulflare wallet set up in your browser. I showed you how to get your device ready by installing the Solana app, showed you how to fund the wallet, and then I showed you some of the basic operations like swapping and staking uh, so that you can manage your Solana in the Soulflare wallet using your Ledger device. I also showed you how to uh, download the mobile app and get that one synced up to your Ledger device as well. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.